Hi, it's Joey Remini here from seekingbalance.com.au. I'm a vestibular audiologist and neuroplasticity therapist, and I'm specialized in helping people heal complex cases of vertigo or tinnitus. And today I want to talk about some of the essential things you need to know for healing tinnitus. And what I want to talk about is the things not to do. Okay, these are the things that keep you trapped in chronic symptoms and make it close to impossible for you to ever recover or heal. So first of all, I want to say it is possible to have tinnitus for distressing tinnitus for your whole life, right? I've seen people and heard of people who simply don't believe they can ever heal. They don't ever start trying to heal. They wait for other people to fix them. And consequently, they have symptoms their whole lives because they never end up in that proactive health focused neuroplasticity form of recovery. So while it is possible to heal tinnitus, here's a few things that will make sure that never happens. Number one is that you focus on your symptoms all the time. You hate them. You're distressed about them. You talk about them. You're constantly trying to get rid of them. So when you're stuck in this place of focusing on the problem and the relationship between you and the sensations in your body, between you and your tinnitus, is one of hatred and dislike and annoyance. That's an emotional part of your brain that is keeping the tinnitus up in a very high priority area in the neuroplasticity process. It's keeping your tinnitus louder because when we have a, a charged emotional reaction to something, the brain sort of goes, oh, okay, this is a problem, so I'm going to shift it up a bit higher. So when you're highly focused on it and the relationship you have to it is about hatred, annoyance, frustration, and anger, the brain will keep it in a higher priority and keep more neurons firing, keeping that sound very active and very much at the front of your brain. The second thing that will keep you from healing and prevent you from recovery is not believing it's possible. If you never learn about neuroplasticity, if you never learn about emotional regulation, if you never learn about the power of your brain to change, you probably are not going to invest any time or any money in learning how to change your own brain. So if you don't believe it's possible, it's, it's hugely unlikely you will ever commit to a successful program and give yourself the time to heal. And I would say number three is expecting instant miracles or expecting somebody else to fix you. For example, maybe you think, oh, well, if I do this meditation, then my tinnitus will disappear. It doesn't work like that. Neuroplasticity and your body's ability to change over time takes baby steps. You know, think about learning the piano. You can't watch a YouTube video interview or, or, in, or video on the piano and then suddenly go, well, I should be able to play the piano now. No, you still need to buy a piano, practice piano, get a piano teacher, buy piano books or piano resources and have a daily practice so you can build up that neuroplasticity, muscle memory and relationship between you and the piano. There's an entire learning process. So if you're expecting a quick fix and you're thinking, oh, well, if I go see the ENT and if I get an MRI, maybe I will heal. No, investigations, tests and doctors can't help you. It's not their job. Their job is to make sure that you're alive, you're not dying, there's no stroke, there's no tumour. The doctor's job is to support you from any sinister, complicated condition that requires immediate medical intervention. The minute you have medical clearance and the, and the medical world is saying, look, we can't find any reason for your tinnitus, you are healthy and you are safe, that's when you say thank you very much and you move on towards healing. Going through infinite testing and investigation is not going to help you heal. And I can't remember what number I'm up to, but the next one I would say is relying on external treatment. So if you're taking lots of anti-anxiety pills, antidepressant pills, even supplements, you know, whether that be hormonal supplements or vitamin supplements, I would just be really questioning yourself, am I expecting an outside source to fix me? Okay, there's nothing wrong with having people around you and supplements and diets and medications to help you holistically in an integrated way. But none of that is going to change your neurons and change the settings that you need to change so that your brain filters out the tinnitus. So taking pills is not going to change you. Using masking devices and hearing aids may not change you either. Okay, It's really up to you and your relationship to your body. This requires self-kindness, self-compassion and patience. And I'm going to repeat that because it's actually really important. Self-kindness, self-compassion and patience. 
You need to believe in your body. You need to trust the innate wisdom in your body. And this is what I do for a living. I help people shift from that external validation place of wanting other people to fix them. And I teach them how to become the expert in themselves, how to listen to the messages their body are giving them. And one of those messages is likely to be tinnitus. And so what is the tinnitus communicating? What is your body actually asking for? And when I say that, it's not always complicated. Like, you know, if you're cold, your body's saying, hey, grab, grab, get me a scarf, a beanie or a jumper or take me indoors, I'm cold. If you get this urge like you're super hungry, your body's telling you, hey, I want to eat. I haven't eaten recently and I want to eat. So you're getting this internal body sensation of hunger and then we can respond to that by either saying, look, I'm actually fasting today, so I'm deliberately hungry. Or we can say, sure, buddy, I'm going to get you a meal. What would you like to eat? So it's about talking to yourself, treating yourself like you would treat your best friend. The process of healing tinnitus requires a very deep amount of humility and self-love, I'm going to say. And that can sound a bit wow, wow out there, but it really does. The people who have the the longest lasting, most effective and most rapid results. When they meet me, they say, Joey, this is the best self-development I've ever done. I've really wanted to do, to learn more about meditation or to really learn more about self-help. And this program, this private therapy process of learning about my tinnitus has taken me to, has opened up doors and taken me to a whole new level of self-knowing and self-understanding, self-wisdom and self-confidence. So it really does take a huge amount of humility and self-love. So to recap, don't expect others to fix you because they can't. Nobody else can change your neurons or shift your neurons or tell your brain how to reprioritize and filter out your tinnitus. Only you can do that and you need to learn how to do that for yourself. Don't focus on medication, supplements and devices as to be a one-stop quick fix. Don't expect quick changes. Yes, it can happen rapidly and I have seen people go from severe tinnitus to no tinnitus extremely rapidly but don't expect it just be gentle patient and remove your expectations altogether listen to your body trust your body and support your body because your body is on your team so don't talk about your tinnitus all the time don't blame your tinnitus your tinnitus is not actually causing your problems it's your relationship to your body that is causing the distress and the anger and the frustration the tinnitus sounds are healthy they're inside of your body and they actually belong there and what we need to teach the brain is that they're safe, not important, and get that noise cancellation system working throughout your brain pathways to filter it out again. The tinnitus is allowed to be there 24-7. It's not going to hurt you. And no, it's not important. No, it, it's totally irrelevant. It's not going to hurt you. But we need to teach your brain to stop making it louder. And the only way to do that is to stop focusing on it. Don't expect anyone else to take your tinnitus away or any machine or any fancy gadget to remove it for you. I think it's really important you back yourself and understand that you are the only person who can do that for yourself and you need to learn how. This is an integrated, gentle healing process. It's a physical, mental, emotional and spiritual process. And the question I ask you is, are you ready for that? What is your tinnitus telling you and are you ready to listen to it, to hear it and to reset it? And the only way to do that is to really understand your body and your own personal healing processes. I can help you with that process if you're interested in private therapy or through a self-study program called Rocksteady. Look at seekingbalance.com.au and please reach out. Don't go through this alone and just be honest with yourself. Are you expecting somebody else to create miracles and fix you? Or are you genuinely, patiently, kindly and compassionately going within to help your body reset and update the settings within your brain, your body and your inner ears? So look, I hope your tinnitus teaches you something super valuable that helps you come out the other end with a lot more self-love and self-acceptance. And I hope everybody who hears this YouTube clip gets the supports they need to heal. Visit seekingbalance.com.au and I'm very happy to support you if this is something you feel ready for. Bye for now.